R slash ask reddit. Who is the rudest celebrity you have met? Former New York City Stagerhand. Worked with a lot of celebrities. Madonna was the worst. Treated Stagerhands like garbage. Told her assistant to tell us not to make eye contact or say hi to her if we saw her. Anybody caught on their phones near her were subject to being kicked off the show. This was also 2010 Aish, when she wasn't relevant for at least 15 years. What a post Madonna. <laughs> Katy Perry demanded a massage at 3am in the hotel I worked at. When we were unable to provide a masseur she filed a complaint against us and kept swearing at the staff. Lol Katy, this is a Motel 6, we don't do massages here. So this is a Wenders. <laughs> Nobody is going to know who this is, but Tridge and Juice to Hoose is ugly on the inside. I was helping out at a Sunday morning gig and she treated Stagerhands like they weren't even people. Told her staff to tell the Stagerhands they were not to touch her mic. Told her staff loudly that the sound guy in this place was always shit with the sound right there. And when two little girls came to her dressing room door after the show, she made them wait forever and then after they left. She dropped the drawings they'd given her in the trash, laughing while the girls were still within earshot. Just an all round nasty human being. This was actually so sad, but Bill Nye was kind of a jerk. He came to my school for a lab opening, and I was one of the students chosen to walk with him to show some project that was done in his honor. He didn't really talk to the students, which was weird considering he was like a hero to many of us, and then he insulted the project. He pointed out something that cold been better, and then he made a suggestion for next time to one of the kids who made the project. I felt so bad for him the kid. He just awkwardly tried to explain what he did, and then they kept walking. The whole time, Bill really seemed like he didn't want to be there. I was disappointed, but I guess I still like him a lot. That's because Bill Nye is full of crap, generally. He has a BS in mechanical engineering, and that's all. I don't know why anyone looks up to him as some all-knowing science expert. Anna Paquin. Met her in Woods Hole when she was traveling over to the Vine Yard. This was like the summer after the original X-Men movie was released. She was the biggest bitch I have ever met. She treated the locals with such disdain that she is still a fucking joke there decades later. No tips for any bartenders or waitresses. Tried to refuse to pay for parking. Yelled at everyone. Horrible excuse for a human being. Really? Damn she's in my favorite show so this is bad news to me. I just finished watching True Blood and the whole time I couldn't shake the feeling that she's a bitch, no matter how nice the character was supposed to be. Otherwise enjoyed the show, if we ignored the fact that HBO can't close out a series without it going to shit in the last season or two. Bill Cosby. My dad worked as a stage designer for IBM back in the 70s. Got me a front row seat to see Fat Albert and him. after show meet and greet. After his show he was sitting on a stool with a glass of wine I think, smoking a cigar, and I was an 8 year old red headed white kid in a smallish crowd of black kids. Might have been 6 of us in total. Bill took time and patience to greet every black kid there was as I hung in the back waiting my turn. He gets to me and said in a huff, I ain't got time for you kid stomped out his cigar and walked off. I wasn't too distressed, but my dad who witnessed this with the other parents wanted to punch him in the face. I cooled him off and said it was fine, but I never had the warm fuzzies towards Fat Albert I had prior to this scene. I grew up and everyone loved Cosby, when asked I just flatly said I didn't like him. I'd get looks like there was something wrong with me. He's just not funny would be my standard answer instead of stating this elaborate reason. But yeah I hated Cosby, before hating Cosby was cool. Back in the 70s, my dad was an executive at a company in Toledo that owned a beautiful home at a country club, which they used for entertaining prospective clients from out of town. Cosby came to town to do a celebrity tennis match for charity, and the company hosted him at the country club property. When Cosby left, the home was absolutely trashed. He held a party there with drugs, alcohol, and prostitutes, and left everything in shambles. All I can say to this is that I hope he didn't get Toledo prostitutes. Unless that country club, I think I know which one it might have been, has some high class ones, which it might. Not surprised. I've heard a lot of stories about him being a jerk even long before the rape stuff was known. Like if you're gonna be a rapist at least be a nice one. 
yeesh. I'm not sure how to respond to that. Jamie Foxx is similar. I was working on Spider-Man with him. All his assistants and handlers are all black, and aside from production or the crew, he'd usually only go out of his way to talk to black extras or black fans who would come up to him. He was nice to them, but I remember seeing him getting into full-on conversations with a group of black people, and if a white guy approached him, he'd just brush them off. I don't really care either way who he chooses to talk to, but it was interesting to watch. Lol and he's romantically linked to a white woman. I guess it's different, if you're serving Rod. What a hypocrite. Katie Holmes is such an enigma, just this plain, quiet pretty white lady who minds her own business, but she's linked to two of the craziest and biggest personalities. I was working at Heathrow when a colleague and I were doing the rounds in a buggy. This security manager asked us if we could take this person to the gate as she was held too long and is acting up, and we thought it would be fun. Sharon Osbourne got in, and while she wasn't rude to us, she was on the phone saying they fucking stopped me at security, don't they ducking, know who I am? My colleague and I were looking at each other trying to hold it in. When she put the phone down I asked her how are you today madam? She casually responded that she is fine and asked us how we are. A lot of people probably don't know who she is by looking at her. She is not an important person, she is the spouse of an important person. To be fair, she's done shows like The View and American Idol, so she does have at least some TV presence. Tim Allen. He was a regular at the Starbucks I used to work. Expected everyone on staff to know his drink, and if you didn't he would throw a huge fit and begin a whole don't you know who I am? Tantrum and yell profanities at the partner that was unlucky enough that morning. Usually they forgot slash didn't know because they were just hired to that location. It was almost like a rite of passage for the new employees to piss him off at least once. Met a lot of celebrities through that location, and every one one of them were the most polite, kind, generous people I'd met. Not Tim Allen though. If everything went smoothly he would just be stone-faced and not say a word to anyone. Really disappointing too. He was like a childhood icon for me. Home improvement. Santa Claus. Toy Story. Guy's a fucking douche. Apparently he's always been a dick. An old co-worker of mine, who was a really nice guy BTW, was roommates with him in college. Said he was a total dick, and they basically hated each other. Tim was arrested for stealing a motorcycle or something, and got kicked out of college, and my co-worker was happy to be rid of him. Kenny Rogers. I worked at Disneyland a couple decades ago, as a cashier in the shops. The rules pertinent to this story are 1. Do not acknowledge celebrities as such, so they can just be normal for a day, and 2. Guests using unsigned credit cards must show ID. Broken rules equals I get fired. So Kenny Rogers and his wife come up to me with an armload of baby clothes for their grandkids, or whatever, and Kenny Rogers hands me a visa that says Kenny Rogers on it. I ask for his ID to protect against fraud, etc. and he throws down with don't you know who I am? Which is something I didn't think real people actually said. But he did, and made me feel like an idiot, but I pressed on in defense of my $6.50 per hour job and that's how I found myself looking at Kenny Rogers, Kenny Rogers Visa, and Kenny Rogers California driver's license, also containing Kenny Rogers name and picture of Kenny Rogers. If I hadn't known who Kenny Rogers was before, it would have been a thorough lesson. Ellen is really mean. She was an absolute terror when she did a show here in Seattle. The MC that warmed up the crowd apologized and said she was just having a bad day. Well, maybe. A friend of my son ran lighting for that show. He also said she was horrible to people. Story? I worked as a security guard for her TV studio and I waved hello to her one time and was asked not to come back the next day for upsetting Ellen. I've heard she is an utter cunt. I really liked her back in the day. She seems so insecure now. She ain't insecure she thinks her shit don't stink. Remember when she had that plump Indian kid on to dance and she gave him a little motorcycle. It was a complete ruse the family had no way of bringing that thing back to India and the show didn't help it was a cheap, worthless piece of metal that did nothing for the kid. Alice, having him on the show, was basically exploitation it's not like he was making any money off it. I've heard that she doesn't like to be spoken to, and that she demands all the hallways she walks down to be clear. People literally have to clear out when they see her coming. 
I've been watching a lot of videos on how she is an asshole to her staff and audience. She won't let anyone on her staff to eat meat, and she won't even allow some of them to make eye contact with her. How tf do you regulate eye contact? Lol. Some celebs have god complexes. I heard her wife is really nice, and is embarrassed when Ellen is a beach. I heard she's abused, and can't escape the relationship, because Ellen thinks she owns her. Yeah she went to the arrested development set to try and make sure her screen time is less and won't let her work. Jay Leno. Met him before he got the Tonight Show. He was an egotistical jerk. Made such a negative impression. I can't watch him in anything, and not remember the awful person he is. I stopped watching NBC almost entirely, based on their decision to have him host the Tonight Show. Or oh, that sucks. I've met him a few times, and he was very friendly and nice every time. Well he looks like an asshole for sure. More importantly, he's not at all funny. Just like his little baby Fallon. What about that show demands that the host is a huge turd? For the 5 minutes Conan was on, I had hope. 